Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we have the brand new Total Beach Atom. Now the Atom is a portable game controller for Android devices, Android smartphones to be precise, and it comes in a multiple of colors. Uh, you do have this gorgeous looking red, you do have, uh, I believe, a black, and then you have, of course, this lime green and black, which is the Xbox specific version for Game Pass. Now the controller retails for $99 and this is very unique and very different. This is a Bluetooth controller. It's also detachable, kind of like other controllers, but they do detach into two separate units. So I'll take the red one for instance and basically you just pull it apart and it detaches. That is pretty much it. And you've got these grooves here, which you can then slide it back in and then it comes with this carrying pouch where you can throw it in and boom, you're good to go. It's now super portable, all that fun stuff. So with the Atom, what you have is two split controller units as such, and they connect via Bluetooth. And what you need to do to actually pair them is a simple but interesting process, right? So let's take these controllers here, for instance. So this, uh, is how you actually turn it on. You use either the Turtle Beach button to turn it on, press and hold, or the Xbox button for the Xbox variants. And then you press the Bluetooth button to pair. Once you pair, you will find, of course, the device in Turtle Beach Atom. Um, that actually pairs this, and then you press and hold this button here, the menu button here for two seconds, and that will pair this other side to this controller and you're good to go. Now it's got magnets, which are just there so that you can lock it into place when you put it together. But honestly, tell me which color you actually like. I am conflicted between the red and of course this um, black and a lime green. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the controller can do. Now, if you've got a light case like this that I have here on my S22 Ultra, it will work with this controller. So let's go ahead and use the Xbox version split it open. Now you do notice that you do have extendable flaps for your different smartphones. This will not fit your Galaxy Z Fold 4 just because it doesn't go wide enough. But you do have them on both sides uh, and there is no USB Type-C connector here. So open it up, slide your, your device in, open the bottom part up, slide your device in, and boom, now you have a controlled unit. Boom, here we go. So if you guys are wondering where this wallpaper is, I'll leave a link for you guys down below. But here is what you have with this device. Now I'm gonna go ahead and power it on. And you see an LED right there above the Xbox button. And there's a Bluetooth right here, it's blinking. I'm gonna turn this one on as well. Boom, now they're both linked. And good to go. You can see the both LED indicators at the bottom here. Now, this comes with an app. It comes with the Atom app, which is quite interesting. So I'm gonna go into that. Because this is a Bluetooth device, uh, this of course will have some latency and response, which they aim to mitigate with this app application. So the overview shows this. Now, the cool thing is whichever device you're using, if you're using the red one, you will see uh, the red device here or the black one within the software, which is pretty nice. Uh, we go in here, we can see dead zones. We can take a look at dead zones for the left stick. You can see right there, and then you can adjust accordingly. You can do that for the right stick as well. You can do it for our triggers, which is pretty nice. Then we can also go for response. So left stick, Precision on left stick, do we have precision? Fast, right stick. So my right stick looks like it's slightly off in comparison. And then we have game discovery. Now game discovery is pretty cool because this tool lets you know which games and which devices actually can use this control off the bat. So you've got Game Pass, you've got of course, um, GeForce Now, you've got Steam, uh, Steam Link, Stadia, as long as it lasts for, um, then we've got a bunch of games here. So you do have a few games that would easily jump in and use the features on here. 
I don't know what that is. That is Dead Effect. Okay, that kind of looked like Halo for a second. Um, and you can see Diablo, this Doom. So all these games will automatically work with the controller directly. Now, there is no Call of Duty here and there is no uh, PUBG. Uh, the one thing this app does not have is button remapping, which would be nice because then at least you could remap those buttons uh, to do that. But because there's a software here, I'm hoping that will happen. But we can easily jump into Game Pass and go ahead and play. So we're in Game Pass here. Um, I'm gonna continue on Forza 5, just jumping quickly. And uh, again, since this is a Bluetooth controller, response time will vary, of course, dependent, but it is pretty nice. It feels kind of hefty. And I'm gonna just turn that volume down so I don't have something that's super loud. So it's, you know, it's still hefty. It kind of feels like there's weight on here. There's batteries in this built-in batteries because it's Bluetooth. Uh, you're looking at around eight hour battery life. It does have a battery indicator in the app so you can actually see. And of course, this will change color. The indicator on, on here will change color to, you know, uh, red if it's running low. But let's see how it actually performs here with um, um, Forza Horizon 5. Might turn up the volume a little bit. Now this is a cool indication. I can show you how well the speakers sound with this. So I'm just gonna just crank that up a little bit. Right, there is no easy way to say this, but Nolan lost an entire truck full of donuts. Giant yellow inflatable donuts. He lost them. So let's go find them this week, I guess. So I can see the volume is pretty good on the device. Also, uh, the controls seem to be quite responsive, which is nice. Um, I like that and I, I think again with those dead zone calibrations you can go ahead and customize it to fit your needs for this device. So pretty solid. Now you can go ahead and just pull that out. And the cool thing is you can drop it and if you want to, you can still play this way, which I don't know why you would. But you can still play with two separate controllers. It feels kind of awkward in general doing that. But that is the Atom controller, right? Um, I really like what is here. I'm not sure if you know, the $99 price point is warranted per se just because you do have other controllers that have direct USB type C input, which is faster response time. But the design is cool. Um, also, some of the aesthetics are pretty nice. And I like what they've done here. And uh, I'm just connecting the red controller here. And to turn it off, all you have to do is press and hold the button and boom, it turns off both sides of the controller and you can close it out. I really like just its compact feel to it. Uh, I'm just gonna connect this version here. Boom, you see it's already connected. I've had this connected before and um, I'm gonna try and go into the app and I'll show you what I mean by different colors. So as you can see, it has the red controller there and also shows me my dead zones, all that fun stuff within this. And I can jump back into Xbox Game Pass and continue my uh, gameplay session if I want to. So there you have it, guys. So if you have any questions or any comments about the Total Beach Atom, let me know. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.